your host master is and English this yeah. and distinguished guests uh, welcome to the Mika K State Toastmaster Club number 07879933 area 6 division B district 9 i am modester farooq the sergeant at arms for today's meeting before we begin let me read out the mission of our toastmasters club we provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth for better listening better thinking and better speaking we learn by doing thank you i request you all to silence your cell phones during the course of the meeting since we are in an online meeting members other than role players meeting leaders and speakers are advised to mute their microphones during the meeting you are urged to applaud using the emojis through your videos as a general rule toastmasters encourage all speakers and role players to speak on any topic except politics religion and sex i hope you will enjoy today's meeting as i would let me now hand over control of the meeting to the presiding officer a great toastmaster confident speaker and exemplary leader or club president distinguished toastmaster sayer thank you mudar sir sergeant atams for your uh, generous introduction today's theme is growth mindset they say attitude is everything they say it's not the aptitude but the attitude which raises your altitude so hence today let us enjoy today's meeting and learn how to grow in spite of circumstances what we require is the right mindset i would like to uh, call upon the word master this who would introduce the word of the day Mohammad Shakib Hello Toastmasters and guests mm-hmm. have a great good morning The word of the day is to help fellow members to enrich your vocabulary in preparing your speech For this meeting the word of the day is the word attitude means a way to feeling or acting toward a person thing or situation for example i don't have any attitude here are some few examples still his attitude was nothing shy or or annoying other one he is put up with my attitude for a lot of years you are encouraged to use word of the day as frequent as you in this meeting and i will count how often it was used by each speaker i will provide my report at the end of the meeting back to you presiding officer thank you so much uh, mohammad shakir i would urge all, everyone to use the word of the day and our word master when the general evaluator asks will give us report so, so every time when we would go to the meeting we will use the word of the day several times if you want so now we have a, uh, the proceedings of the day would be of the meeting would be conducted by a mover and shaker he is not only a great speaker he is a great leader he is uh, he is working in king south university as a dent in a dent he is a research scientist in dent, dental surgery dental in king south university he is a current we uh, vice president education of taj toast masters club which created a huge record because of him and the team and he is the president elect of taj toast masters club and has won uh, the division and championship and a district finalist in the international speech contest please help me welcome the toast master of the day dr sundar ramalingam thank you very much presiding officer for that generous introduction and i am indeed humbled 
Fellow Toastmasters and all my dear friends, a very warm good morning to you all. Great things in life are not performed simply by strengths, but they are achieved through perseverance, said a wise man. But what is all perseverance about? We all know that we have strengths within us. We have documented what are our inner strengths, what are our capabilities, what we can achieve. But is that the mindset that helps us carry on forward? I believe we need to have something much more greater to reach greater heights. Talking about the theme of the day, which is growth mindset, when I was researching about this topic on the internet, I found out that it's not just one type of mindset in general, any kind of person or any kind of people could be classified to have either a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. In a popular study conducted in one of the famous universities in the States, they say that a fixed mindset is something like what you have when you are trying to jump off a cliff. We all know that we cannot fly. And we all know that if we have to jump off the cliff and land down safely, we need some safety equipment like a parachute or kind of a gliding or things or safety equipment in, in, in short. And this is a fixed mindset. There is nothing much more we could do about it. But when you are talking about achieving in education, you're talking about achieving in your career, or you are wanting to excel in any particular field, be it science, sports, arts, literature, whatever may it be, this fixed mindset is never helpful. So that is where a growth mindset really comes to play. The idea of trying to learn more, trying to do more, trying to achieve more is what is the basic tenet of a growth mindset is all about. Thankfully, we are all gathered here on a common platform called Toastmasters International. And one of the core values that we imbibe as Toastmasters is to have a growth mindset because every time that we do, we are trying to set a new benchmark and trying to achieve beyond that point. Just let us take the case of the speech projects that you will be doing as, as Toastmasters, which is going to help improve your communication skills. We do a project and then we do the next project, which is going to be a little bit more difficult than what it was before. And then we complete that level, then we go to the next level and completing five levels, we finish one part, then we do another part. So this kind of setting up new benchmarks and trying to achieve them over and over and over is what is a core crux value of growth mindset all about. If we are able to apply this kind of a growth mindset in, in all our walks of life, how great would that be? And that's what we are all trying to, and nobody is perfect. And let me just shed in a few more lights as we are proceeding with the meeting so that we are also in the know of what this real growth mindset is about. Probably most of us are indeed in a growth mindset, but we never realize that this is what it is. And if we, are, if we realize that that is the time when we start nurturing it and then we grow and keep moving forward in a much better way. Now, let us move on to the actual proceedings of the meeting. For all those members present here, just let me give you a brief of how a meeting proceeds. We have three important sessions in the meeting. The first one is the education session, where we usually have either a guest speaker and some prepared speakers from our club's members who would be presenting their speech projects. And the next session would be the table topic session, which is the impromptu speaking session, where we have a table topics master who would be throwing out topics and ask members to answer them impromptu. And the last session would be an evaluation session where a feedback for all the projects or all the speeches that were done earlier in the day are evaluated and feedback is given. But in addition to this, we have another great team of meeting leaders who are going to make sure that every time that we are going to develop, uh, we are going to deliver our speeches or our speech projects, they are attuned to perfection. So these are the meeting leaders whom I'm going to introduce to you now. For the first meeting leader of the day, whom I'm going to call upon is Toastmaster Zishan Ali Khan. He is our accounter. Toastmaster Zishan, could you please uh, detail out the your role? Yes. Uh, can you hear me now? 
yes you are heard loud and clear okay uh, first of all uh, thank you dr sundar ramalingam uh, for giving me chance to uh, present my role uh, for this meeting uh, i am uh, i am designated as a, a counter in this meeting and i will be counting for the sounds like a ah, m r well so like but and any repetition and any other filler words that uh, our speakers either prepared speakers or the table topic speakers will say uh, and at the end of the meeting i will be giving my uh, results uh, for everyone to understand thank you thank you very much to sponsor zishan for clearly elucidating the role of the accountant it is very important that we remove or avoid filler words crutch sounds or crutch phrases or repeated words whenever we speak and that is the primary role of the accountant who is going to point out whenever we do this errors for the next meeting leader we have the word master and uh, the word master has already introduced the word of the day but i would request the word master to master shakir to just give us a brief about his role to master shakir good morning once again fellow toastmasters and guests the word of the day is to help fellow members to enrich your vocabulary in preparing your speech for this meeting the word of the day is the word attitude means a way of feeling or acting toward a person thing or situation here are some few examples still his attitude was nothing shy of annoying another example he is put up with my attitude for a lot of year you are encouraged to use word of the day as frequent as you could in this meeting and i will count how often it was used by each speaker i will provide my report at the end of the meeting back to you toastmaster thank you very much toastmaster shakir and next we have a grammarian who would introduce his role toastmaster anand pillai can you please uh, give us a brief about your role the grammarian's role anand you are mute thank you dr sundar ramalingam for this opportunity uh, dear fellow toastmasters a uh, warm good morning to all of you as a grammarian uh, my responsibility is to pay close attention to all the speakers and listening to their language usage i will be taking note of any improper usage of language any outstanding words phrases quotes etc and the grammarian's report will be presented during the meeting when called upon back to you toastmaster sundar ramalingam thank you very much toastmaster anand and next we have the meeting leader who is going to help us maintain our timings during our speech projects which will be the timer toastmaster mohammad noman could you please explain your role thank you mr toastmaster of the day good morning fellow toastmaster my role as a timer is to keep record of all the speeches table topic evaluation speeches for this purpose i will use three different colors green yellow and red the green color will indicate that the speaker is qualifying the required time the yellow color means the speaker hit the target time it means the halfway between the minimum time and the maximum time and the red color when the allotted time is finished after the red color the each speaker have a uh, 30 seconds to wrap up the speech for prepared speeches like we have one from the toastmaster amir mahmood the ideal time is 4 to 6 minutes where the green will be at 4 yellow at 5 and red at the 6 minute for prepared speeches we have like one from the anapolai and mudassar farooq the ideal time is 5 to 7 minute the green color will be appear on the screen after 5 minutes yellow at 6 and red at the 7 no after the red colors appear each speaker have 30 seconds to wrap up the speech no for like table table topic the screen will be green at 1 yellow at 1 and 1/2 minute and red at the 2 minutes for evaluation speeches 
the green color will be appeared at two minutes, yellow at two and a half minutes, and red at three. No, for the table topic evaluation, the evaluation speaker have 30 seconds for one table topic speech. Like if we have six speeches, table topic speeches today, so he have the 30 minutes, sorry, three minutes to wrap up the evaluation. I will present my report when called upon by the Toastmaster of the day. Over to you, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Norman, for that uh, wonderful report. Just a point of correction here. For the table topics evaluator, it is usually 30 seconds for each speaker. So that is the minimum time. So if there are six speakers, we take 30 seconds for each speaker. So three minutes is green, three and a half minutes is yellow, and four minutes is red, and four and a half minutes to be disqualified. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Thank you for and the finally, for the last meeting leader of the day would be the role of the oath counter, who is going to help you find out who is the best prepared speaker, evaluator, table topic speaker, or meeting leader. And it is yours truly who would be taking up the role of the vote counter. And as the vote counter, I shall be sharing the link for voting through Google Forms at the end of each session. And you can cast your vote to whom you feel perform their particular role to the best of their abilities. With that, we come to the part of introducing the meeting leaders. I believe we have had a fair idea of what are the meeting leader roles and what they are going to do for you today. Without further ado, let us move on to the education session. To kickstart the education session today, we don't have the prepared speech, but rather a session that is going to educate us all about the Toastmastering and its history. And whom else to bell the cat than the master himself? So we have a veteran Toastmaster. I would like to call him a veteran Toastmaster and he is a distinguished Toastmaster. The title distinguished is usually given to Toastmasters after they achieve certain educational awards or leadership track achievements. But in the truest sense, he is indeed a distinguished personality. And so the title distinguished Toastmaster is the apt one for him. He has been a charter member of Taj Toastmasters Club. He has been instrumental in the formation of District 79, the Toastmasters district that which we belong to, both in the GCC region as well as in Saudi Arabia. And he has taken several leadership and speaker and top roles in the Toastmastering arena. And everywhere he has gone, he has left a mark. Professionally, he is a chartered accountant working, and working for uh, Samsa Express currently. And he is also the president of our Mecca KSA Toastmasters Club. May I now call upon Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster SR Sridhar to deliver the education session on awareness on Toastmastering and its history. DTM Sridhar, the screen is yours. Am I audible and uh, visible? Yes, sir, you're audible and visible. Just a point of order for the timer. This educational session will be for 10 minutes. So you'll have green at eight minutes, yellow at nine minutes, and red at 10 minutes. Okay, here. Yeah. Over to you, DTM Sridhar. Thank you, uh, our mentor, Dr. Sundar Ramalingam. Hello, Toastmasters. Do you know about the history when the Toastmasters started and how it, the, the person who started was Dr. Ralph C. Smedling. How did it start? Actually, he was a member of the YMCA, Young Man's Christian Association in Bloomington, Illinois. So he noted, also amongst when he was the education director over there, he noted that he had known a lot of people over there, but they had brilliant, but they couldn't articulate what they would say. And then not only that, they had meetings, but the, people, the organizing of meetings, there were a lot of flaws over there, and it was not, and it was totally unprofessional. So he thought, let him, uh, he, he took an initiative to start one of the uh, clubs, like, you know, a speaking club. So bad he can organize a meeting, how to talk, you know. So later on, the word Toastmaster was coined. How did, was it coined? He said that the man, the, the, who proposes the toast in banquets, so that's why he coined the word Toastmasters. But it was started unofficially on March 24th. 
1905 in Bloomington, Illinois. A few, it ran for a few months, like unofficial meetings, club meetings. It was not registered or so. But later on, in, he, he was transferred to Santa Ana uh, YMCA in California. It's between uh, San, Los Angeles and San Diego and the way it is there, that building. So there, the, he organized several meetings. And finally, we, they started an official Toastmasters Club on October 24, 22nd, 1924. So a lot of metamorphosis has taken place after the start, starting of the first club. And later on, after some time, the, it moved, the club in Canada was started. Then they coined this, they were the word, coined the word at Toastmasters International. So the popularity of the uh, clubs went uh, far and wide and many places in the United States, the club started. But then they organized, a, a registered as a Toastmasters International. This is a non, not for profit organization. So later on now we have a Toastmasters club in almost 145 countries and more than 300,000 clubs and 15 regions all over the world. You may be really uh, curious to know, you know that Toastmasters were only for men in those days. And in 1970, one lady in San Diego, Toastmaster, her name was Helen Blanchard. She was in, working in Navy. She said she wanted to join Toastmasters. But just to circumvent to jo join, she, she, they coined her name as Hubert to Blanchard, and she joined the Toastmasters over there. Later on, the international organization passed on, passed a resolution that the ladies can join in 1973. And Helen Blanchard became the first international president in 1985. And after that, the, the popularity of Toastmasters grew world. So now, there was an in those days there was an educational session and all the all the manuals were written by Dr. Ralph C. Smedley. Ralph C. Smedley passed away in 1965. By the time he had organized most of the uh, Toastmasters Club, he wrote the charter, he wrote the parliamentary procedures. But that is what is being followed. Ralph Rishi Smedley achieved his vision. So the, the, we found that the, uh, the Toastmasters program impacted people so much that they started growing professionally, personally. And, and it was in, in the United States, it was recommended for all the people, all the, the people who were working to join the Toastmasters. So you can see where it has gone now. So at that time, the, there were three manuals. There were one advanced manuals, then the, so the basic manual called the CTM, then they called it CC, that is competent Toastmasters. Then it was a competent leader. And then the advanced manuals we had, the advanced manuals, like, uh, like uh, humorously speaking, speaking to inform, speaking for management. But later on, See, we have to have, we, we have to go with the times. Those manuals were generic and it did not generic. So they thought Toastmaster International had a mind, had a uh, research paper done, research with a lot of uh, people done. And then they found out that we need to really cater to specific so they changed the manual system and the pathways came, pathways they adopted. So that it is more focused on people who want, who the people who want their uh, dreams to achieve. So somebody wanted to really become a humorous speaker. There's a manual called humorously speaking. Somebody wanted to really become a great leader, like dynamic leadership. So there are 11 parts currently, which is happening. 
So this was in District 79. This was implemented uh, from last year. That is May, June 2020. It was com it was compulsory to now. The old uh, uh, syllabus was phased out, and the new syllabus is there, which is really a great thing. And uh, so now we are in the pathways. So we have a pathways uh, ambassador, the pathways, uh, and we'll have a mentors so that all your all the members can be trained. When the Toastmaster organization grew in the 60s, it grew. So they had to have a lot of uh, 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 governing structure. So to manage day-to-day -day affairs, in those days, it was called the executive director. The first executive director was, uh, was our Terence McCann, who was a gold Olympic gold medalist in 1960 Olympics. And he, in those days, he was signing all the certificates, the CTM. And by the way, my competent Toastmaster certificate was signed by Terence McCann. Later on, he passed away. And then we had Diana Grow. Now, currently, we have Daniel Rex. He's not called the executive director. He's called the CEO of Toastmasters. He, day to day affairs, he's looking into it. And the other position is international president will oversee oversee the role of Toastmasters. So to become an international president, so he, they also go through the uh, final steps, like they become the area director, the club president, the area director, division governor, division, then they go to district. And then from there, they become regional advisor and then international director and national president. So this is how it goes through. And they go through various trainings so an international president to become, it's, you have to literally be, uh, literally go through the fire and you can see the performances of those people. And then we, in, the, in the speaking arena, you have, uh, we have contests every year, every year. So that the contest starts from club contest, then we go to the area, the division, district. And the only the international speech contest goes to the World Championship. Every year, the World Championship is held, and you can see the World Champion. Currently, last week, we had the District uh, Championship or District 79. And the winner will be going to regional, and then the semifinals of the World Championships. So this is how it is all structured. So, fellow Toastmasters, if you really focus and take part and participate in Toastmasters program, the sky is the limit. One of the Toastmasters said that if you, if you can get out everything that is in Toastmasters, you will never get out of Toastmasters. So that's what, the, the more you give, the more you benefit. This is what I would say. So this is a brief introduction of Toastmasters, right? and we have various clubs, we have various meet, uh, trainings going on. Kindly be like a sponge, like, a world, like our world champion Darren Lacroix in 2001 said that the more the stage time, we have, the more uh, proficient we become. And then more, um, uh, and, you, and we listen to our mentors. So what I recommend that please attend the meetings regularly and more stage time, more stage time, and you become a great speaker, a great leader, and a great person. Back to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, DTM Sridhar, for that enthralling journey through Toastmasters since its inception until what it is today. And to condense it within 10 minutes is no mean achievement. And I am pretty sure that we have all benefited out of your this educational session. A big round of applause to DTM Sridhar for his wonderful education session. Moving up next, we have the prepared speeches where our members who have taken up the different pathways projects, they have worked tirelessly, in fact, with a growth mindset and the right attitude, and they are here to deliver in front of us their prepared speeches. So we have a lineup of three star speakers with us today. The first speech 
Okay, before I introduce the speaker or call out the speaker on the screen to deliver his or her speech, let me call upon the evaluator. So the first speech would be evaluated by Toastmaster Hassan Hussain. Toastmaster Hassan, could you please uh, explain the objectives of the speech project? Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Good, day. good morning, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. Today, my speaker, Amir Muhammad, he is going to deliver the project from Pathways Dynamic Leadership. That is the first project from his Pathways. And the purpose of this project for the member is to introduce himself to the club and to learn the basic structure of the public speech. Time will be four to six minutes. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hassan, for giving us the objectives of the speech project. For our Toastmasters, you might have all noticed that before we call out any speaker or a major meeting leader, we usually have a convention of introducing themselves. Them, uh, the Toastmaster of the day introduces that particular speaker or leader before they are called out onto their speaking position on the stage. But for all speakers, they always have a first time when they have a chance to introduce themselves to the gathering. So that is what we call the icebreaker. So for our icebreaker speaker today, Toastmaster Amr Mahmood, I'm not going to give you any introduction. Rather, he is the one who is going to introduce himself over to you all through his speech. Toastmaster Amr Mahmood, the screen is yours. Well, thanks very much. And good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well and keeping yourself uh, safe and healthy, inshallah. Today, I will be giving my first ever speech named as Breaking the Ice, as I would term it. Uh, this quote is coined with a term similar to the breaking the ground as I embark on this journey of uh, self-exploration, uh, learning as well as self-development. The path I have chosen for uh, this one is dynamic leadership, where I am hoping myself to equip with the required skills knowledge and the necessary tools uh, that are required for this, this job as well as to improve myself as I see uh, the, the future requirement uh, of enriching my communication skills. And um, I hope that I will be learning valuable experience, gaining the valuable feedback from you, the fraternity, um, uh, as I move on in, in different uh, stages of, of this journey. To begin with, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Amir Mahmoud. Um, I hail from the country of Pakistan. The literal meaning of my name, Amir, means rehabilitator, as well as Mahmoud means the most praised one. I came from a small town now turning into a bustling city of Taxila. It is a rich uh, in archaeology and ancient town, and in some historical books, it's also termed as uh, Takshashila. Uh, I was born and raised there. Uh, I have had all of my education from there. By the way, the location of this town is close to the federal capital of Islamabad in Pakistan. I had my primary as well as the secondary education from uh, government schools. Then I went on to the college, grade 11, grade 12. Uh, the intention was to become a doctor. So I had my pre-medical uh, studies uh, one way or the other. I couldn't make it to the pre-medical and somehow I ended up doing the business studies after winning, winning a scholarship. Um, not to mention that, although I didn't really make it to medical school, but I have helped three of my nieces and mashallah, they are now fully doctors. And uh, I'm, I'm having the same aspiration for my lovely daughters. By the way, I am blessed with two daughters, Ariba and Shal, age eight, 10 and eight. They are source of inspiration as well as um, my stress buster to say the least. Well, as I mentioned, um, after winning the scholarship, I went on gaining the education in uh, the business studies. Uh, I am a graduate with business management courses, and then I went on securing myself the designation in accountancy. So I am a chartered professional accountant as well. With regards to the languages that I speak, uh, of course, our um, official language back in Pakistan is Urdu, which is a kind of a sister language to Hindi. The language spoken out in the, in, the, in the streets is called Punjabi, whereas my mother tongue is Hindko. So these are basically our uh, regional languages. Uh, with regards to regional, regional languages, I am also very, very well versed with Saraiki and Pashto uh, with about 30 to 40 percent competency. When it comes to the international languages, of course, uh, English is the language, uh, the chosen language of, uh, of work as well as trade. 
So I think I'm doing okay in English with regards to Arabic. Yes, I am at the very basic level. I can read and write, but I can't speak that well. Um, all right, moving on. That um, with regards to my professional experience, yes, I have been working uh, primarily in oil and gas industry, and I have been in in this kingdom for the last uh, six years. I came in 2015 into this region as well as in, in this country, and ever since I am working here. Uh, the job location per se is I am located on the eastern part of uh, of uh, Saudi Arabia, and the city is Jubail working in petrochemical um, industry as a governance and performance manager. Although I am trained and educated in, in accountancy and finance, but my field is sort of a changed. It is a little bit detracted. And I thought maybe this is another opportunity to, to meet up with, uh, with the fellow professional finance, um, professional um, fraternity here to learn as well as to keep myself abreast of the of the, the the latest development as well as the changes that are happening in in, the, in this profession now moving on to why did i chose uh, why did i choose profile this uh, toastmaster club to be honest yes okay yes i am aged but i think at the end of the day it is the the positive attitude that pushes you to learn and try a few things i have always been having uh, stage fright or speech fright per se, uh, a bit of a jitterish speech, as well as um, not so articulate one. So I thought, okay, what is the best medium for me to equip myself uh, with the things that I, I can always improve on by learning as well as by listening to the great leaders and, and the mentors as I have come across um, in, during today. And, and I hope to foster this learning and continue my journey of uh, self-development and improvement. Uh, please uh, do keep your feedback coming my way and I hope to learn a lot in future. And uh, with this one, I would like to end my speech and I thank you very much for this opportunity. God bless, thank you. Thank you very much Toastmaster Amr Mahmood for that brilliant ice-breaking session. Next up, we have our second speaker who will be delivering his L1P2 project from Persuasive Influence Path. Before I call upon the speaker, let me ask his evaluator, Toastmaster Sunny Kurvilla, to please detail the objectives. Toastmaster Sunny. You are muted. Toastmaster Thank Sunny. you, Toastmaster, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Dr. Uh, Sundar Ramalinga. This speaker is going to deliver his L1 B2 project, Persuasive Influence. The title of the speech is Destination of Happiness. Time, five to seven minutes. This is the First speech, evaluation and feedback, first speech. The purpose of this project is for the member to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback, and apply the feedback to a second speech. The purpose of this speech is for the member to present a speech and receive feedback on the evaluator. Over to you, Postmaster of the Day. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Sunny, for giving us out the objectives. Our second speaker is a chartered accountant from ACCA and a certified management accountant from IMA. He is currently associated with Haji Hassan Group in Bahrain as, as a finance manager. He hails from the God's own country in India, Kerala, and has been working in the Gulf region for the last 13 years. Fellow Toastmasters, please help me welcome Toastmaster Anand Pillai to deliver his L1P2 speech. Toastmaster Anand Pillai, the stage is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Dr. Sundar Lamarinkam. Well, can I ask you, what is the basis? Yes, of course. We all know that it is Saturday. But for today, I would say this day is today. 
today, the day with immense possibilities. But the most important thing about today is that once it is gone, it is gone. And it won't come back again in the lifetime. Once it is gone, it will become a memory and it will just get vanished into the history. President Toastmaster and all the fellow Toastmasters, a happy good morning to all of you. Today's my topic of discussion is destination of happiness. Now, can I ask you something? Where is the happiness is? I mean, where the happiness is sitting? For the sake of convenience, we all say that happiness is in the heart, in the bottom of our heart. But for most of us, happiness is sitting somewhere in the future. We are all dreaming about that future to get happiness. Every day we are working very hard. We are doing all the efforts just to get happiness in the future. That day we are all visualizing that day in the dreams. And today we are ruining our pursuit. If you look at our current situations, two things are ruining our percent. One thing is the regret for the past. We are regretful for what has already happened, over which we have no control. We cannot change the past. Second thing is the future. Of course, future is always uncertain. At least a million people in the world do not wake up every day morning. At least a million people. Don't you find it paradoxical that we know that any time we can pretend, regardless of the age, regardless of the health conditions, whatever it may be the case, still we think that we are going to live forever. But the point here is that how to find happiness? Where is the happiness? Well, what makes you really happy? Attaining a high profile job or having a luxury car or a multi million bank loan, whatever it is, all these things can make us happy. Yes, it can make us happy for some time, yes. But the eternal happiness should come from the heart. If you can practice happiness today at this time, you will be happy always. You know, one thing we are working in, in the finance field, we are working in the office, we have a lot of things. We are basically bringing a lot of, we are carrying a lot of burden to home. You know, at the home also, we are thinking about what is happening in the office. Not only that case, but in general, we are always thinking about future and we are forgetting to be happy. So how to be happy? You know, I would say that the first thing that, that we need to be happy is to appreciate what we are, appreciate what we have, getting connected with the people, getting engaged with whatever we are doing, getting engaged with whatever we are doing with a passion, with love. It's not that somebody is always happy without doing anything that doesn't, I don't mean. By say that we should do everything for the future, but do not get worried about the future and looking forward to see that happiness in the future. There is a great saying I have seen in one of the websites. It says that a fool is always looking beyond the oceans to see another land of opportunities when he is already standing in the land of opportunities. When he at least reach, when he at last reach the destination, what happens? Two things might happen. One thing is that he realizes that the land he just left was the land of opportunities. Or he thinks that yet another land is waiting for him or he needs to reach there to get that happiness. By connecting with the people, by engaging himself or herself, the things around, doing everything with passion and love can make you happy. I have seen people, they are just happy. They are just happy with playing with their pets, their puppies and kittens. They are very happy 
in their mind. I have seen people, they are very happy when they look at the look at a flower. I have seen people happy when they are walking in a garden, they are very happy. When they are playing with their kids, playing the elephant game with the kids, they are very happy. The moment they do not think about anything around, they are engaged with whatever they are doing. They are very much in being happy. So we are always in search of happiness in somewhere else. So there is no destination of happiness. We are always experiencing the happiness. We must do that. Practicing happiness is an art. Anything that we do, anything that we are connected with, living in this moment, in this present can bring us happiness. Forget about the past, learn from the past, but use it currently in the present to become a happy person in the future. We should practice the habits. Fellow Toastmasters, if you look at how we practice happiness, as I said earlier, getting connected with the people, doing things with more love and affection. You know, the moment when you are connected with the people, you are getting ideas, you are communicating, you are engaging with something, basically you are finding your happiness. Fellow Toastmasters, I would like to deliver a beautiful message to you. Please take it with your heart. Do not take it with your ears. If you can practice happiness today, definitely you will be able to practice happiness in the future. A person who is not happy today, for whatever the reason, he cannot practice happiness. He cannot make himself happy for any reasons at all. He cannot become happy in the future. So let us be happy in all the moments that we have. Let us practice happiness. You know, the moment when you are spending time with your kids, when you are spending time with your parents, this moment, you forget everything. You are finding happiness. As I said, this is one of the case, but in reality, everything around you, all the miracles of this universe, we must experience. For that reason, how we can experience everything in this universe, it is only one thing living in the present. If you live in this moment, this day, you can live the next day with full of happiness. Dear fellow Toastmasters, I would, I, I, I have a request that we must all practice this happiness, that Whatever we are connected with in this world. Let's see when seeing a flower or when playing with the kids or walking in the garden or talking to someone. Let us cherish the moment. Let us be happy. Over to you, President Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Anand Pillai, for that brilliant speech on happiness. We have our third speaker coming up next. And before I call upon the third speaker, let me ask his evaluator, DTM Sridhar, to please read out the objectives. DTM Sridhar, can you please read out the objectives? Yeah, our third speaker would, uh, would be delivering his level two, uh, level one, uh, project two speech. And uh, the purpose of this project is for the member to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback, and then present it again on the second speech. The purpose of the speech is member to present a speech and receive feedback from the evaluator. So the member will deliver a well-organized speech. And, and the speech may be humorous, informational, or any style as the member chooses. So back to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, uh, DTM Sridhar, for giving us the objectives. Our second, third speaker for today is working as a finance manager in a local food manufacturing company here in Saudi Arabia. He's a member of ACCA and the CIA and has been residing in the kingdom for 36 years. And his idea of joining Toastmasters has been to improve leadership and communication skills.
And this gentleman is going to deliver his level one project two first speech from the dynamic leadership path. The speech title is Attitude Matters. Speech time, five to seven minutes. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Mudassar Farooq to deliver his L1 P2 speech. Toastmaster Mudassar, the stage is yours. Brian Tracy, a motivational speaker said, you cannot control what happens to you, but you can control your attitude towards what happens to you. And in that, you're mastering your change rather than allowing it to master you. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished Toastmaster and President, good morning to all of you. We have heard and talked about attitude. Uh, we have commented on someone's good attitude, or we have even received feedback on over on bad attitude or negative attitude. Just to refresh the memories, I'm going to define attitude. Uh, the definition of attitude that I got is that it is a way of feeling towards a person, thing, or a situation. Uh, examples can be passion for a certain sport or food, or dislikes of certain individual or places, or just the general feelings towards life. Every person in this world must face constant challenges in life. And the only path to success uh, is to persistently keep on doing what, le what would lead to progress and achievement and not to abandon it halfway through. Because if you leave something halfway through and it is something that is able to help you achieve your future goals, it, definitely it's going to hurt you or come back and bite you in the future, and you're going to feel resentful towards it. Uh, Thomas Jefferson said, nothing can stop the man with the right attitude, but nothing on this earth can help a man with the wrong mental attitude. Problems were, are, and will always be there around us, and we can never get rid of them completely. Uh, and sometimes we have to live with those problems and we cannot even change the situation we are in. The important distinguishing factor, which I have noticed between successful people and the people not so successful in these situations is their attitude towards those problems. Uh, bringing a good attitude to the problem or the issue, it might not help you solve the problem at hand but it will definitely bring a smile to your face and it will definitely help you calm the atmosphere around you. Usually we might have seen in over circles around us, uh, I'm working in the finance field, so most of the people that I meet in accounting, finance and auditing uh, field, they are grumpy and sad and the atmosphere around them is tense. Usually they're serious. Uh, and they do tend to take things in, in, in totally different perspective. Uh, don't take me wrong, I was one of these people as well. And the only reason I could find the reason for my grumpiness and my uh, behavior was the way uh, or the way my attitude I had towards my problems. Just to, to understand this, I'll narrate a personal experience. A few uh, months back, my wife informed me that she was able to understand how the situation at my workplace was by just seeing how I was treating the children at home on a certain day. I connected the dots, I went back to see, and yes, I found out that the days in which my office Space was not that productive or there were some issues, I would tend to come home and I would have a negative impact on my children. Uh, I would nag them. I would scold them for no reasons whatsoever. On the other hand, when the things went as planned in the office or the atmosphere was good in general, I would come home and I would even forgive things which were punishable. So uh, just analyzing this, I was able to see that the problems I had at my workplace, they were not definitely, or they might have been in my control. Uh, 
uh, or there were things that I had no control over at all. So, but the way I reacted to those problems was definitely something I had in my control. Um, so I thought to myself that why do my children or my house atmosphere have to suffer because my boss's mood was not good at work today? Or there was a problem which I was not able to solve. I started changing my attitude towards the problems and issues that I had. And um, uh, I started taking problems instead of threats. I started taking them as opportunity. Uh, instead of finding excuses in, others, uh, in other people, I started discussing them and I started taking solutions or that lessons we can learn from these problems. Uh, this by just changing the way I started facing my problems, changed the atmosphere for me, both at my workplace and at home. Uh, at workplace, my colleagues would now openly come to me to discuss my problems, to discuss their problems and issues at work, and we would try to find a solution for it rather than blaming them. Uh, at home, my children and wife are now relaxed, knowing that whatever happens at work stays at work because they have no control over my workspace. So um, I can see that your attitude towards life problem will definitely define uh, how much you will progress in life. Uh, a negative attitude will give you the grumpiness and you will become an old man with no uh, memories around you. But a good attitude or a positive attitude will definitely help you uh, to live a life of contentment, uh, to appreciate the blessings around you and to help the people around you. Uh, a growth mindset can only be achieved if you have a positive attitude, if you're willing to take the things, learn from them, and progress in life. Otherwise, uh, you'll be stuck in one place trying to blame someone or something. Uh, I will leave all of you on a quote by Khalil Gibran, and I want you to think of on this quote as well. Khalil Gibran said that uh, your living is determined not so much by what life brings, but by the attitude you bring to life. Not so much by what happens to you, but by the way how your mind looks at what happens. Uh, thank you and back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Mudassar Farooq for that great speech on attitude. Uh, with that, we have now come to the end of the prepared speech session, fellow Toastmasters. And may I now ask, from the timer, if all our speakers are qualified, uh, it's only for the prepared speakers. The education session is not to be held, uh, be counted for, for voting. Toastmaster Mohammad Nooman. No, apart from the NFLA, yeah, both are qualified, but NFLA took more than seven and a half minutes. Uh, thank you very much, Toast, uh, Toastmaster Mohammad Nooman. You can actually give out the individual timings when called upon by the general evaluator. I agree. Uh, Sorry, I got muted. It's now time for us to vote for the best prepared speaker. So we had three speeches and out of that, one of the speakers has overshot his time. Well, that disqualifies him only for the voting. As far as his project is concerned, it is considered done. So probably he can Im implement the feedback of bringing it within time when he is going to deliver his speech the second time. So here is the link for the voting, which is going to be shared to you now. Okay, the link now has been shared on your chat box for voting for the best prepared speaker. Please feel, uh, please vote for the uh, the speaker and his speech, which you feel which you feel that fulfill the objective criteria of that project. So as the voting progresses on, we will move on to the next session. But before we move on to the next session, let me just tell you that it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. To explain a case in point here, exactly a year and a half ago when the world was thrown at the feet of the COVID-19 pandemic. Sorry, Dr. Sundar for interruption, uh, but the evaluation is uh, looks like for the TV topic, Mr. Amir Mahmood and Mudassar Farooq, but Anand Blai is not there. No, no. Uh, Name I'm of Anand sorry. Uh, 
Yes, uh, yeah, in the evaluation, actually, Anand Play name is not there. In the evaluation form you just uh, sent or the link you just shared, Anand Play name is not there. Yeah, because he there is not, uh, you will not be voting for Toastmaster Anand Pillai because he exceeded his time limit. Oh, okay. So the voting will only be for the other two speakers who are qualified for the voting. So what I meant to say is like, when a particular speaker overshoots his time, or it doesn't mean that they have not fulfilled the project objectives, but they will not be included for the voting criteria for that particular day's meeting. I hope that's clear. Thank you. So let me move back to what I was telling you. So I was talking to you about the COVID-19 pandemic that we are all going through. So almost a year and a half ago, when the world, whole world was thrown out in disarray because of this new pandemic it was it's it was a new normal for several of us we did not know what to do what is the next step but still a year and a half and the world has been moving ahead there has been a lot of progress that is going on both both at the individual level and at the global perspective being a medical professional i can visibly see how much of progress that has happened in the way we have understood the disease since it was first reported and the way we are treating people now. I would definitely say that it has been a humongous change in the way we are treating patients who report with COVID-19. Gone are the days when we were so much afraid, that, okay, if anybody comes with COVID-19, it is going to be a severe case of morbidity and mortality. But here we are now treating patients with much greater confidence. So if you look at what is the reason behind that, it has been the courage to learn the courage to do and the courage to grow. So this is also an aspect of growth mindset. When you have to break out of the normal, look at new normals, look laterally, look around you. If, if people are all working out for this one and it, with a concerted effort, effort, definitely we can grow and definitely contribute for the betterment of the society and also the betterment of us as individuals. So this is the key aspect of having your attitude, which is mirroring that of a growth mindset rather than that of a fixed mindset. Okay, in line with this one, let us now go over and move to the next session, which is the table topic session, an impromptu speaking session, which is also something that is going to challenge you as a communicator and as a speaker. And as I told you, you have to be courageous enough to grow up. Are you courageous enough to take up the table topics challenge? Well, to conduct this session, we have a great Toastmaster who hails from the beautiful country Sri Lanka, and he's proud father of three daughters. He has an MBA from University of Leicester, UK, and holds a higher national diploma in accountancy. He is a lifetime member of the Association of Accounting Technicians and is currently a chartered accountant working in the Mam Saudi Arabia for the last 15 years. And he's attached with Algate Oil Field Supplies and Services Limited and UAE based company as a finance manager. He has an impressive lineup of social activities where he is the president of TWAB and founder member of MOWA, which is actually a charitable society aiming to improve the lifestyle of people in his home place in Sri Lanka. And also a member of OWETS, an educational development society for the children who are underprivileged. This is the gentleman who is going to conduct our table topic session, and it is none other than Toastmaster Izzat Hamid. Toastmaster Izzat Hamid, the stage is yours for the table topic session. The table topic session would be evaluated by our Vice President of Education, Toastmaster Nafis Ahmed. Toastmaster Izzat, the stage is yours. Yes, uh, first I would like to check the technical uh, Am I audible? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sir. You are seen and you are audible. All right, thank you. Fine, wonderful. Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you all who are sitting here in this room. So, firstly, thank you very much for this elevated and wonderful introduction by our today's meeting, TM Modi. So, thank you. Also, I would like to thank the club officials for this wonderful opportunity for me uh, given to conduct this uh, table topics master. 
i hope normally in this session the audience heart beats far very fast but i hope here we all are professionals experienced people so you all have good enough to tackle this session so i'll be with you for next 20 to 25 minutes to conduct this session i'm the toast i'm the table topics master for today's meeting meeting number 4 this is actually the almost the end of this session maybe this is the way they have set up huh, to uh, relax at least the 75% of the uh, session of this meeting because this is going to be an uh, improv yeah i mean unprepared and nobody knows who is going to speak with the questions raised by me the master of the day so this portion is a very important the toastmasters objective as a toast as a paper topic master it's a, a very opportunity given to me to improve my capabilities my speaking talent but that is not the objective here here we are giving the opportunities to others to speak so those masters objective will be fulfilled by this way to give others opportunity to speak so master he gets benefit and also the benefit we want from the members that mean it's you audience so audience can be members guest person who has already assigned roles but maximum i will try to avoid the people who have taken the important roles also any other roles i will try to bring the impromptu speakers in this stage to 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 deliver their speech or the deliver their opinion on the questions raised by me so thank you very much again for this so i have selected some questions the also i have the names already put in a different way called it's a wheel way so to do this session i would like the host to share the screen for me because i want to select the people from this screen through wheel so could you please i hope that toast master of the day uh, um uh, the topics master uh, the sharing the screen share is enabled all right thank you toast master of the day for the kind uh, help so this will help me to proceed further so before uh, move on to the uh, questions or the bring the call the audience one of the some of the audience so i i don't want to spend more time on this because i've been given on 20 25 minutes so in this i will maximum pick around 5 to 6 or if time allows i will go beyond i have around 8 to 9 questions already set up so thank you very much so first i would like to select a person who can come and talk me yes here the first in prompt speaker going to be in this way so i will click on this wheel the person whose name stay on the arrow so he will speak the he will the first speaker then i will go to the another wheel to select his question okay start
Yes, the first speaker is PM Shaki. PM Shaki. This is your question. Going to be. So I'm opening the question. So the question again, I will click the wheel. The question will come to him. Yes, this is a question for you. I hope you can read it. Am I? Yes. Yes. Where do you want to see yourself in five years from now? Explain. Did you get the question? Yes, I got it. Thank you. I can remove it? Yes. Thank you. I'm a person who have a lot of dreams. Well, dreams will not work without a deep desire. Dreams is something that will not let you to sleep. It is not something what you feel while you are sleeping. To work out your dreams, we you need to put some deep desire on it. Before five years, I was joined in my company as a store manager. That time, I fixed some goals where I need to be after a certain period of time. And I always observe what my next level people, they are doing, what I need to do to achieve my target. I always looking forward for the next level. Then I, then only I can reach there. So I point out one, two, three things that I need to do to go to next level and achieve my target. If you ask me what I want to become after five years, yes, definitely for sure, I have a goal. So to reach that goal, I have certain plans. Plan A, plan B. Whether plan A, it will not work for me, I will switch it to plan B. So a deep desire plus a dream, it will make come. I need to be a CEO of this company. For sure, maybe it will not work, but I will try to become a CEO, at least my own company. That's my wish. Thank you and back to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Mohammed Shakir, for that uh, wonderful uh, idea. So the next question, I am going to make it, I hope I will take some time just to move on to the screen. So I make, I try to make it fast. Here is the second question going to be the name. Uh, point of order, Toastmaster, uh, is that your screen is not seen because uh, the screen share was disabled. Because okay. when the speaker is speaking, it's better we give them the screen space. Oh. It's okay? We can see your screen now, yes. All right. The second speaker is TM Abdul Wahid. TM Abdul Wahid, this is your question. Yes. Thank you. 
here is your question. I hope you can read it. I don't want to read and it will take time also. There are seven mindsets. One of those is live to give. Explain. This is your chance. Thank you, Toastmasters, uh, for giving me this opportunity to speak on uh, the topic. Uh, there are lots of mindsets which are primarily to attain a certain goals and objectives. Uh, some uh, some uh, cater for uh, growth mindsets, some cater, cater for fixed, fixed mindsets, and we need a, a certain attitude to achieve our goals accordingly. Uh, here, I would like to uh, focus on mindset, which is live and give. In this time, there are lots of uh, philosophies which people want to enforce. Everybody seems to be justified by his own way of living, ways of doing their works, and they do not want to incorporate or uh, in a way understand the point of views of others. There may be a right, uh, uh, not a single right at, at one point of time. There may be two rights at one point of time. So we should always live and give to others. Uh, we should give an ear to others' opinion, try to understand their uh, way of thinking, approach in a way that they should also be incorporated in the holistic approach. Uh, so I would like to uh, emphasize, we should let people live and give. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you. That was uh, Mohammad Noman. The next question. Yes. Yes. I'm going to select the person. Third speaker. I hope the uh, sharing is... Uh... No, the screen share is off. You will have to do the screen share every, before every speaker, sir. And I have to do the screen share, right? All right. How can see? Yes, it is seen. Ahmed. Noman is the one now finished, right? No, it was uh, Toastmaster Abdul Wahid Sheikh. Oh, yes. Toastmaster oh. Mohammed Noman is our timer. Timer, all right. So it's fortunately for him. So Mohammed Noman, we can, I think, proceed. Or we can go for the next speaker. Uh, Toastmaster Mohammed Noman, would you like to attempt this speech? Yes, I can. I, I can oh. act as the timer. Okay, thank you. Yeah, your question. Hope you can see the question. Yes. So the same so question. No, 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 you can open up your video, please. I can. So I would like to give a, okay, same question. I hope the previous speaker also did yes. uh, due to some technical error. You can click remove, sir. Just click remove. Yes. So every time after it's selected, when you click remove, that topic will be gone. Yes. Yeah, thank you. So I'll do again. Yes. All right. I hope you can see. Yes. What is more important, delegation or control? Please, over to you. Yeah. 
Okay, done. Okay, the topic table topic given to me is what is more important? It's delegation or control. If we just check that in my point of view, I think both are equally important, but it should be very different from the situation to situation. If we are more in bureaucratic style of business or just like where you have a low level of staffs who are not capable of do all their works, then we have to more control. We have to more focus on them. We have to do the procedures and system in that way that all the procedures and sets according to the organizations. And in this way, I think the control approach is more appropriate. But if we go on the other way, we have a more qualified, more, you can just say experienced or the up-to-date knowledge guys. So we can do that in that way. We can just delegate some of the works to the respective guys. And accordingly, we can just control the important things with us and the remaining the we just we are not important folks on the all the things now i'm just checking around i think a couple of weeks ago i'm just taking an interview of the ceo from india he said okay when you go from the very down so we have to keep all the things in our hand and what we will do we will just do all the works with ourselves and we are not able to delegate the things and to other staff or to respective guys he said it's an art of del it's an art that we delegate them. It also shows our attitude that either we have a growth mindset because we it will be free us from to do the other works. If we just control all the things with us, so definitely we are not able to do all the things in the more appropriate time and it will be decrease our efficiencies. So in my point of view, I think we have to just a complete balance between the delegation and the control. And we have to decide, okay, what are the important things? that I can control with me and I have to do the perfect reporting for that one. And for the other ones, I will just give some controls to the other team leaders or other things so that we can completely in go in a team way. So team is, I think, a more better way of working instead of the bureaucratic styles. Over to you, table topic for master. Thank you, Toastmaster Mohammed Noma. Mm -hmm. So the next question I want to ask The fourth, I hope the fourth question. Here is the speaker. Sorry. I'm sorry, I want to change it. Oh, yes, it is. It's not too it. It's not too loud for you. The question is here is your question. Hope you can see. Yeah. Success is not an accident. It is a choice. Please talk. Can I start now? Yes, go ahead. Uh, good morning, uh, Toastmasters. Uh, this is my first uh, uh, meeting to attend. And uh, thanks for the opportunity. OK, uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about you know, success. You know, with the right uh, attitude, you know, you can reach your goals, you know, very successfully. So for that, you know, you need uh, proper uh, planning uh, and uh, a clear you know, methodology and approach to, you know, reach your goals. Okay, by uh, planning and implementing, you know, whatever uh, you want, you know, you can uh, reach the ultimate, you know, pinnacle of uh, you know, success. Success, you know, though doesn't come you know, very easily, okay, you need to strive and you know, struggle to be successful in you know, anything you know, which you do uh, in your life. So um, the most important thing is to have the right attitude and you know, the right uh, uh, approach you know, to achieve your uh, goals to be successful. 
and of course you know once uh, you are uh, successful it's not uh, that you know you have uh, conquered the world okay there are uh, you know success there's no end to success so you can you know um, strive to you know be more you know successful uh, in life and you know um uh, a successful life and you know being you know good to uh, people you know uh, success uh, should not you know make you uh, complacent uh, nor you know it should not uh, make you arrogant it should make your life you know easy and you know uh, to be more uh, happy uh, in this life uh, thank you thank you thank you to master hidatullah for his first uh, uh, meeting but he delivered a nice opinion So, Toastmaster of the day, can I move on for one or two more questions? Um, actually, we are running short of time. Hi, uh, we have already. Yeah, this question, I understand. So, how many more you can allow me? Uh, we can have one more question, sir. Let All this right. be the last question. Thank you, thank you, Toastmaster. So, quickly, we will go for the next question. who will deliver the next question here is the last speaker wow who is that toast master toast master hasan hussain i hope he is available toast master hasan are you available i think he is not answering if not available i have to move to the yeah you can move to another speaker please all right thank you i'll close this and hear the alternative speaker the last speaker going to be i'm very sorry again i have to touch because i could not bring you Hope is a new Toastmaster. I did not check. Toastmaster Zishan Ali. Is it? Yes, I am. I am. Oh, thank you, thank you, Zishan. So here you have question. The last speaker for today's table topics. Here I say. Sorry, I have to remove this. I will give you another one. What? This is your question. Question number eight. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, "I am possible." Please talk, Sijar. Okay, is it? Uh, am I audible now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for Miss uh, for Toastmaster Izzat Hamid for choosing me for this table topic. And uh, nothing is impossible. The word itself says I am possible. Okay. There are uh, there are many possibilities in life. You you can say. there is nothing impossible in life even this word says that uh, it 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 includes the word possible so the possibilities are everywhere you have to find it you have to catch it uh, if you find some door closed for uh, in your path you can move on to another path and you will find uh, another opportunity uh, uh, if you think that you can achieve something someone says that if your mind can imagine something you can achieve that thing so uh, if we stick to that if you think in your life uh, that you want to achieve or you want to become someone or you want to become like someone you can you should have an can be attitude should be attitude so that uh, and you have to do 
efforts towards that. Uh, after that, you can achieve. You have to put your all the efforts and time, and you can achieve that. Uh, like me, I want to uh, be an entrepreneur in my life sometime, maybe after five or ten years. Uh, before that, I want to get into the CSU. For that, I am taking the program of CFO Mecca Academy uh, for 2021. Uh, it is halfway already. Uh, after some time, uh, I want to break into uh, CSU uh, so that I gain some experience for that. And then after some time, maybe after five or seven years, I would like to do, uh, my, and do some business business myself and yani i want to be the entrepreneur so i think that it is possible and there is no nothing impossible in in this world uh, and i i i will stick to it thank you very much mr toastmaster izzat hami for giving me the opportunity back to you thank you thank you thank you toastmaster zishan that was our last speaker so with that we have to conclude i hope i have done maximum to achieve the objective of the toastmaster this meeting actually its a purpose is to teach us how to speak when unprepared also the second one i hope i would have covered that was that is the everyone should be given an opportunity to speak so i hope it is speak me that me at least they would have here in this room would have participated in any other role so i hope i have covered that one so again i would like to thank our officials and all especially the today's tmod uh, for this wonderful opportunity thank you thank you very much toastmaster izat hamid for that exciting table topic session and it was indeed creative that you had used a wheel of names for the selecting the speaker as well as the topic for them so it, it it's clearly a random selection of the speakers and topics and giving them the opportunity to speak thank you so much for that one and a big round of applause to you for that one uh, mr timer i believe all the speakers are qualified the table topic speakers i'm sorry i jumped the gun and i have already shared the link yes yes yeah. thank yes. you so much so the link is already there on your chat box you may please vote for the best table topic speaker and uh, as the voting goes on we will move on to our next session which will be the evaluation and feedback session so for the general evaluation session we have a general evaluator and this gentleman i had given an elaborate introduction earlier in the meeting he was the person who gave us the education session today he is our president and just a small correction because i had mentioned during my introduction that he is a chartered accountant but actually he is i i just have to correct it because he is a certified public accountant from the california board of accountancy and everything else is what as i told you earlier he is indeed a great doyen among the toastmastering fraternity here in district 79 saudi arabia and especially in riyadh and a leader par excellence so to conduct the general evaluation session let us welcome once again distinguished toastmaster sr shridhar dtm shridhar the stage is yours Dear Mr. Shridhar, we are not able to hear you. Please unmute yourself. For the news, uh, thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, as we are running out of time, I would like to make it everything short. So now, the general for the new Toastmasters, general general evaluation is a backbone of Toastmasters program. It is the only program where feedback is given immediately and very succinctly. That is without. offending the speaker the feedback is given so that he is motivated to come back to speak again and again i have a great set of first we will evaluate the speakers so now the first speaker ice breaker would be evaluated by hasan hussein who is a rising star of our toastmasters fraternity he is only one year almost only one year old but he has taken so much of responsibility and has grown so much that he is a engineer from darbanga bihar and currently works as a qa and qc manager in middle east cables company 
Please help me welcome Hassan Hussain. Is he there? Thank you, General Evaluator, for this kind and generous introduction. Fellow Toastmaster, once again, good morning to all of you, and a special good morning to my speaker, Toastmaster Amir Mahmoud. Let us bridge the talk. Let us bridge the gap. Let's talk and ice. The purpose of the icebreaker speech is to introduce yourself to the club members and did my speaker did that? Yes, perfectly well. We are all here now well aware about your all family, yourself, your academics, as well as your professional life. The best way to introduce, starting from your beginning journey, well introduce the meaning of your name as well we got to know today and you speak about town from where you have that is actually an ancient historical historical city the place where you have studied your two beautiful lovely daughters and all your professional careers we are all well aware of that today a great speech that was given by you today as the purpose of this project is, you met it very well and wonderfully. Your speech craft was very well perfect. You opened, transitioned, and concluded with the purpose of you, why did you join the Toastmasters? And each one of us here, sitting here, has some purpose, some goal, that we spare times in Toastmaster and join the club. Overall, it was well articulated speech with very nice vocal variety. You were very comfortable while delivering your speech. Your eye contact with the audience was very perfect. Indeed, the very best part of the speech was that you introduced to the club very well and the spoken language of you was very nice. It was exemplary. And your confidence level too, during the first ever speech, that most of the speaker we used to shave here on the stage when we are on the stage for, 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 for the first time. And that was not seen in you. You were like a seasoned speaker. So your confidence level was very high. Overall, it was a great speech. Something if I like to add into a speech that could make a spice up more, that if you add some body language and gestures in your speech, use your facial expression some high, low tone vocal varieties, it will make your speech more attracting to the audience. And the other is when you speak, better you stand up and present yourself so that we can see all your body language, your body gesture, body movement, we can witness that. Overall, it was a very nice, well-crafted speech. With adding these two things, like body language and gesture, standing and speaking, using vocal varieties will make your spirit to the next level. Over to you, General Thank you, uh, The next evaluator who will be evaluating uh, the level one P2 speech of Anand Pillai is uh, our area director uh, who is uh, who has, who is a Chartered accountant by profession and has over two decades, two and a half decades of experience and is a CFO in a very famous company in Saudi Arabia and a mover and shaker. You're a past president of Taj Toastmasters Club, current area director and always associated with any success story. He can achieve anything what he sets his eye to. Please help me welcome Sunny Kuruvela. Thank you, General Evaluator, for a generous introduction. Hello, Toastmasters and guests, and exuberant greetings to you all. Congratulations, Toastmaster Anand Pillay, for completing your 
L1 P2 project. First speech from Pathways Persuasive Influence. Yes, you have successfully persuaded the audience to practice happiness. I like your state statement. Practicing happiness is an art. Yes, we all need to be good artists to enjoy our life. Your speech was built around the theme that we need to be content with what all we have and feel happiness, enjoy happiness out of that one. Anybody who cannot enjoy happiness today, they can never be. That's a wonderful message. Also, I like your advice to us. What all we do, do it with passion and love. Also, what you mentioned, find happiness with our kids, pets, playing with them and cherish our life. It was a wonderful advice. And you have concluded your speech with a wonderful message. If you can enjoy or if you can practice happiness today, we can practice it always. Fantastic message. It was really beneficial for all of us. Thank you for that. So, to improve your speech for the next level, I have the following suggestions. Since it is your first speech, and the objective is to incorporate the recommendation for your next I will be going little detail about the recommendations. The number one, always it is better to include some of your personal stories to make the speech more insightful. Second is voice modulation. Your voice, it was almost monotonous. It happens with our finance team. But always to give an impact, increase it, decrease it, so that people will understand you are going to say something very important. And in between, make some pauses. And at the end, it is better to have some initial quote. You have made a few statements rather than one statement, like, Time and tides wait no one. Or past is a history, future is a mystery, and present where we can do something. Overall, great speech, great message. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Mr. Sunny Kuruvela. Uh, the next speaker would evaluate uh, the level one P2 speech of Mudasar Farooq would be yours truly. Mr. General Evaluator of our Toastmasters and my speaker, Mudassar Farooq. What a nice speech you gave. You, what, what I liked was you start with the foundational phrase of, uh, of Brian Tracy and ended with Khalil Gibran. And the, your movement from opening to body to conclusion was quite smooth. And what I liked was as a new speaker, your gestures were congruent to what you're speaking and your eye contact was highly good, very so nice. And you spoke very in a simple language, which was quite uh, understandable to all the audience. And I also liked it. I was glued to you totally. So you are, overall, it was a very good speech, very nice about attitude of the theme of the day. So, so now we need to grow as a speaker. And we need to, uh, to make it more effective to reach out to the audience. What we, I have a few suggestions so that you can become a great speaker. The first one, which I would say is that reduce the, the number of narrations. That is, you make it more conversational. Like uh, 
you told about the exit your wife. So when you say when you go back, so you so go back like this. So through just be a conversation about between your wife and you regarding your children. Oh, what happened? So, so your wife was saying, What happened to you? So you're now always angry. Now I know you had a small problem in the office. So some conversation which will attract the audience attention that rather than narration. So include more of personal stories rather than narration or give proscribing something, do this, do that. Have conversation. The second point is that I would like recommend is that practice your speech. So there were a few hours and news I've seen, but that's okay. So now when you practice your speech continuously, it will definitely have a greater impact. And whenever we are talking, try to do the vocal variation. Work on vocal variation. These are the three things, right? Like this, when you're expressing your thoughts and when you vary your vocal, uh, vocabulary, it has a huge impact on the audience. So your message gets through. So these are only three things at this moment I would like to recommend. So the first is the conversation, dialogues, use more of dialogue, less of narration and more practice so that you can even out the R and news. And the last is practice a little bit of vocal variation. That can really have an uh, impact. All in all, it was a great speech. Wish you uh, in the next project with, and you can become a great speaker. Thank you. The next evaluator who will be evaluating the table topics is our vice president education. He is a, such a humble and honest person. I mean, I really got glued to him so uh, we gelled to him because of his honest qualities and a sincere person, a very transparent person. He's having 20 years experience in the finance field. He's a member of Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, England. And he has done an MBA from a very reputed university in Sri Lanka. And he's living with his family here in Riyadh currently. Please help me welcome Nafis Ahmed, who would be evaluating our table topics speakers. Yes, uh, good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Uh, am I audible? You are audible, yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to own my video because I had to drive to uh, pick up my son. So I will do still my do my evaluation as usual. Uh, I'll continue. Uh, all right. Thank you. Of course, uh, there were four speakers, and thank you for Toastmaster Izzat for taking up the assignment. First of all, I would like to give a, a short introduction about this table topic, what it is. It's a kind of impromptu speech, as it was told, and we all are corporate professionals. When we are asked any uh, short presentation at our corporate life, we have to explain to our superiors in very short language. So that is kind of the uh, table topics. The topics could be the top. No, the you're... table topics. Table topics can be given anything. In a corporate scenario, it could be a corporate matter. So you are the finance manager. How do you see? Uh, uh, future of the company. That is what one question was asked. How do you see your, yourself in five years? So if it is asked, how do you see your company in five years? We should be able to give a short explanation of our what's going on. So this is kind of, I'm relating the table topics to the uh, your session of our uh, Toastmaster session. Now let me go through one by one. The first is speakers most Toastmaster, Shakir. Uh, well, uh, what I found is that he had a good speech and he had a good opening. Normally, when you start a speech, when a topic is given for 10 seconds, you can think about the speech. No, you don't have to speak immediately. You can speak uh, 10 seconds. You can spend on uh, thinking about the topic and uh, uh, getting the materials. And you don't have to say much about thank you and uh, no need to repeat the topics. You can immediately go to the opening. A great opening will be very good. This time, yeah, generally, only thing is I didn't find much of... Uh, I, I found a plus point is that we had a good uh, expression and the hand expression while he was speaking. Always uh, he had a 
uh, good example of of his past because of that he could not stick to his uh, subject the subject was about the future what do you want to see in the five years and i saw that he surpassed his time limit he just closed, he had to do a very harsh closing because he surpassed his time limit because he had to explain more on the subject matter on the past rather he could have touch on the subject what he want to be on the five years and cut if you want to share his experience he could cut short so that he could do it within that time limit so in the closing i want him to do i, I expected him to say yes i want to be ceo of the company and i am working on that something like that he can close the subject matter so he had a good hand expression but only thing is he can stand stand up and speak and he can little bit explain more on the voice modulation and gesture more if possible Second speech I was speak was TM Abdul Wahid. He was speaking on the leave to give, and he had a fairly good opening, and he was express explaining that, uh, especially in this period of COVID, we need to uh, give. Uh, we are living here. We are not concerned about other uh, people's uh, needs sometimes. So he give at, in the closing. He emphasized that we should give in to the. others and his timing is okay and he is good uh, he, he could have improved little bit on the body language and the voice modulation these are the areas he can stand up and speak please stand up speak it uh, my dear speakers so it will be helpful for everybody next one is to toastmaster mohammed nauman he was speaking on the delegation or control he had a good opening and he explained that we should balance the this uh, he, he is of the view of that we should balance delegation and control and finally he made a good closing about that he would like to have delegation and control as balance his body language was good eye contact was good he was standing and speaking uh, i have one uh, suggestion that he can speak little bit less fast his speech fast is very good however he can little bit slow than what he is doing right now and he can include modulation if possible the next speaker was the toastmaster hidayatullah success is not accident and he explained with a good opening and a good body that he was explaining that success we can't just let it come like that we have to strive for that however i didn't see any uh, very good closing in that actually i would like to everybody speak every speak i would like to emphasize the point that you do opening you was you was subject and again on the opening statement you give a close closing statement strongly so these are the, the uh, these are, his plus point was he explained the theme very well however he can improve on the body language and the modulation the last speaker was toastmaster zisan ali nothing is impossible and uh, here also we i want to message that we don't want to say that this is my first speech this is my second speech thank you no you can directly go to the opening and say that nothing is impossible you can give opening statement or proverb or something like that this i am telling for everybody however in this speech he broadly explained about his body that uh, things are possible if you have a good growth mindset and he related the theme of the day finally he had a good closing how he reached the red speech because when you see the green and yellow you should be moving towards giving the closing remarks this is the what uh, he he passed the bypass his time he was standing and speaking i would like him to do little bit on a hand expression and uh, finally i would like to recover request all the toastmasters normally we don't use the word like mr toastmaster unless he is a doctor kind of a kind of a profession you can say toastmaster of the day who would be your uh, table topic master of the day like that if it is a distinct toastmaster dtm we have to distinct is toastmaster in short a well attempted of course we are here for learning when you come to improper speech think about your boss is asking your profit forecast for next year what is your cash flow situation then at least you take 10 second to think you can say your oh, cash flow is minus at least you should have some develop some uh, background yes uh, my cash flow is minus because data are not paying we are doing like this so this is kind of the improper speech that will improve your skills in your corporate life also thank you for this opportunity over to the general moderator Uh, thank you nafis uh, for your uh, very good general, very good eval evaluation so timer can have all the uh, evaluators qualified just say qualified or not no mr nafis took more than the required time 
yeah, his time is around four and a half minutes. Nafi's time is four and a half. Minutes. I can uh, explain to the timer his timing criteria, and we will now vote for all the evaluators except uh, oh. Postmaster Nafi's. Okay. The okay. voting link is being shared in the chat box. Okay. Please kindly vote for the uh, best evaluator. So now, uh, I would like to uh, go in for the meeting leaders' reports. The the word master of the day. Could you please give your report, please? Shortly, not more than one minute. Uh, good afternoon, once again, everyone. Today, the word of the day was uh, attitude. Toastmaster Dr. Sundar used once. Toastmaster Abdul Wahid Sheikh uh, used once. Toastmaster Hidayat Ullah used once. Toastmaster Zishan used uh, once. And Toastmaster Mudassir Farooq used 14 times because this topic was attitude matters. Uh, that's a word master report. Thank you. And back to you, General Yeah. Uh, I think Dr. Sundar and uh, myself also used it. Oh, anyway, uh, then uh, now the grammarian, Anand Pillai. Thank you, President Toastmaster. <clears throat> During the meeting, I have not found any improper usage of language from any of the speakers. Some of the sayings or quotes that I have noted are about the journey of self-exploration. Second one, you cannot control what happened to you, but you can control the attitude that makes it happen. Nothing can stop the man with the right attitude and no one can help the man with the wrong attitude. Code is like a holistic approach, miracle of success, Success is not an accident, it's a choice talk. These are the some of the quotes and sayings that we have figured out from the meetings. Couple of uh, issues what I have found in the sentence constructions of some of the speakers, I do not uh, wish to name there because uh, sentence construction is equally important when we are talking so some of the places I have seen, especially in table topics, so sentences were not constructed in a way that is basically, yes, this is understandable. We can understand what they are saying, but it is not the right way of constructing the sentences. That's it. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster uh, Sridhar. Yeah. Uh, now the timer, please. Our counter, our counter, sorry, the our counter, please. Okay, uh, for the R counter, uh, for the prepared speeches, uh, Anand Play uh, has taken the lead. He had only five uh, such instances recorded. Uh, on the second rank, it was Mudassar Faru. He had seven instances. And his Toastmaster Amit, Amir Mahmood had 11 instances, such instances. For the table topic speakers, it was Toastmaster Mohammed Noman, who took the lead with only two such instances. On the second rank, it was Toastmaster Shakir with three. Then it was Toastmaster Abdul Wahid Sheikh with nine instances. And Mr. Uh, Toastmaster Hidayatullah Bey, uh, he had 14 such instances recorded. Back to you, Sridhar. Yeah, uh, now the timer, please. Timer's report, please. Yes. Can you share my screen, please? Yeah. Yes, uh, sh uh, screen share is enabled. Okay. Yes, you can see my screen? Yes. Yeah, if we just check so today, 12th of June, we have a fourth meeting hour. So our first session is an education session that is on the awareness of Toastmastering and history. It is from the distinguished Toastmaster, Esther Schroeder. He took 10 minutes and 20 seconds. 
However, the allotted time is eight to 10 minutes. So he is well in the time limit. Now, if I just move to the first icebreaker, that is from the Mr. Amir Mahmood, the time allotted is four to six minutes and he took five minutes, 27 seconds. So which is already within the range. Now we have two evaluation and feedback speech in today meeting. That is from Mr. TM Toastmaster Anand Palai and Toastmaster Mudassar Farooq. Toastmaster Anand Palai took eight minutes, 37 seconds, who is the more than the allotted time because the allotted time for this speech is five to seven minutes only. So he took around, you can just say it one and a one minute, 30 seconds more. Now if we discuss about the Toastmaster Mudassar Farooq, he took seven minutes, seven seconds, which is within the time limit range. Now, if I move to the table topics, we have five table topic speakers today. All are within the range limit. That's from the one minute to 50 seconds to two minute, 10 seconds. If I go one by one, so Toastmaster Muhammad Shakil took two minutes, 14 seconds. Toastmaster Abdul Wahid took one minute, 50 seconds. Toastmaster Muhammad Numan took two minutes, nine seconds. Now, if we move on, Toastmaster Hadaitullah took 1 minute 51 seconds and Toastmaster Zishan Ali Khan took 2 minutes 10 seconds. So these all are within the their allotted time. Now if we discuss about the evaluation evaluators, we have four evaluators. First one is Toastmaster Hassan Hussain, that is the evaluator from the icebreaker of Mr. Toastmaster Amir Mahmood. He took 3 minutes 27 seconds. Now if I move to the Second, Toastmaster Sunny. He is the evaluator for the Mr. Toastmaster Anand Pillai. He took three minutes, 29 seconds. And our third distinguished Toastmaster, who is the evaluator for the Toastmaster Modassar Farouk, who took two minutes, 47 seconds. If we just check all the three evaluators are within that time limit of two to three minutes with a 50 minutes grace period. Now, if we just discuss about our table topic evaluator, that is Toastmaster Nafi Samad. Actually, we have five table topic speeches today. So ideally, he took two minutes, 30 seconds with a maximum of four minutes, but he took six minutes, 35, 35 seconds. So maybe he's on the phone. So maybe he's not aware of that one or he's giving a valuable additions on the table topic topics. So we can just go for that way. So that's the all timing report from my side. Thank you, thank you, uh, uh, <clears throat> Timer, for your elaborate report. So now we will. Uh, my uh, only general evaluation: we started the time uh, uh, meeting late by uh, seven minutes. So we are also ending the meeting late. The uh, meeting point late of order, uh, sir. Uh, we will now vote for the best meeting leaders. Uh, vote for the best meeting leader. Yeah. So hence, I would request uh, from next meeting onwards, let us come in early by 9.15, log in 50, so that we can finish early and go for Salah. So this is what is my recommendation at the moment. And then we'll have a XCOM meeting and then we'll discuss future uh, initiatives and all. So I hand over the uh, lectern to shortage of time. I hand over the lectern to our <coughs> Toastmaster of the day. Uh, Dr. Sundar? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. You, thank you. Thank here. you very much, Mr. General Evaluator. Thank you so much for the great evaluation session that we had and the feedback that we all received. I hope we will all be applying it with a grown growth mindset and the right attitude to take it further as great communicators and speakers. So with that, we come to the end of today's meeting session. And I just a quick reminder for all the members here to vote for the best evaluator and the best meeting leader. The links are available on the chat box. And after the presiding officer says, I will also share the link for the best of Dig3 and you can vote for that one as well. So we now come to the close of the meeting. So with my message that I've been delivering to you all, let me go on with the final message. It does not matter how slowly or how swiftly you go along. As long as you do not stop the right attitude, the right growth mindset, and the courage 
to keep going forward. We can all be achieving something, as I told you before, that could be of benefit to us as individuals and also to the benefit of the society. With that, I sign off with my role of the Toastmaster of the day. I enjoyed being the Toastmaster for today's meeting and I hand back the lectern to our president, Toastmaster Sridhar. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Dr. Sundar. It was a wonderful session. Now, I would like you to vote for the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster and the general evaluation. It was a great meeting, although we started late. But then next time onwards, I, I would uh, request the uh, people to uh, log in early, Toastmasters log in early so that we can start early and finish early. There are guests we had today. Like, uh, is that, could you give a feedback, please? Mr. Is, is, is that table topics master? Hello, is it easy there? Mr. Is that is that? No, it's not there. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm here. Uh, a few, just a thirty seconds feedback. All right. Thank you. Thank you, to, uh, President, uh, for this uh, wonderful opportunity. So quickly to wrap up. Uh, really, uh, I enjoyed the meeting. Uh, it was uh, my first uh, attendance here. So to Postmaster Peace Ahmed, he gave this opportunity to join this meeting. He impressed me, so it's a professional uh, here. So sure, in future also, I'll be learning more uh, because uh, my objective also to have the growth mindset. So in that way, sure, I will learn. So all participants, including President Kia Modi, wonderful. Uh, he took the session very wonderful. So president also, so all role uh, players uh, played well. So keep it up. So we will always uh, learn. So we don't stop learning. So we will have the growth mindset. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other guest who's there today? Yeah, so having seen no guests, so the uh, vote counter, are the results ready? in the queue. Oh, yeah. Hello. No, yeah, yeah. Results are ready. Hello. Uh, yeah. Yeah, until the results are getting ready, I have a point to say that about our attendance, we have yeah. around more, more than 30 members. Mm -hmm. Everybody is aware of the meeting and uh, actually from our fraternity, only 10 people have turned out. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to improve these attendance. attendance. Uh, we need to talk to the members because everybody has to show interest. Even personally, I am not in a position to attend today. I am on the move here and there. Mm -hmm. Still, I am attending doing my role. So we need to group, talk in our Telegram group and emphasize that we all are spending our time, including not on ourselves and even the from the Tachos master, even being medical professionals or the accounting professionals, they are coming out of the comfort zone and for the growth mindset, they are spending time. So we have to emphasize in our fraternity, in the Mika CFO group, for the, all the 40 members, they have to show more interest. That's my point that I want to officially put it to the president. Yeah, so we will have an XCOM meeting uh, and then uh, we'll find, we'll see how, how to go about it and talk to each and own person. Uh, uh, maybe by next week we'll schedule an XCOM meeting and do that. Thank you. Okay.
we will do that. By the time the results are declared, we will we want all the now we are hello yeah. Dm uh, I'm sorry, I have to leave for the other meeting. I have shared the results in your chat box in your Zoom chat. You may please announce it. Uh, where is it? One second. Uh, I'm not able to see the Zoom chat. Uh, I am not able to see that. One second. Oh, uh, uh, Dr. Sundar, I am not able to see that results. Sir, uh, I will just send you, can you have to just click on the chat icon, the bottom of your... Uh... Yeah, I will click that. I am yes. the chat box only. You see the chat window. I'll send you a chat now. Hi. You'll see the messages. Uh, I, I kindly announce the result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. I've got it. Yeah. The best speaker today is Mudar Sir Farooq. The best table topic. One second. The best... Uh, Table topic speaker is Mohammed Noman. The best evaluator is Sunny Kuruvilla. No, sorry. The best, uh, wait, yeah. The big three is Dr. Sundar Ramalingam. And the best meeting leader is Mohammed Noman. Please give a round of applause to all the winners. And let us look forward for the next meeting with more enthusiasm, with the right mindset and with all the people of Allah, all of us. Thank you and have the meeting stands adjourned. Thank you. Thank, Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.